Hi and welcome to my playhouse and to the creepy basement where I'm today gonna try and fix something that I broke quite a few videos back. I was doing a, um, a, a review of an electric bicycle and I was supposed to do some very nice aerial photos with a drone of me driving the bicycle and what I did was I set everything up on a football field I tried at the beach but but it was too windy but so I went to a football field and there was a couple of young boys playing football in one end so I went to the other end and I set this up and I set this uh, put the drone up into the air and told me to follow me and what it did was that it went right sideways into some bushes and it fell down mm -hmm. which is normally not a big problem but in this case so it broke the propeller and I thought okay I have spare propellers it's no big deal but after I put some new propellers on it it complained that this motor was not working anymore and it doesn't fly very well on three motors oh it doesn't fly at all on three motors and I think when the propeller broke it messed up the windings down here uh, some of them are out of place and I could expect that some of them would be broken down there So I'm gonna see if I can replace this arm today and this drone is the DJI Merrick Air 2 Which it very nicely says on the arm so I don't have to remember anything But um, yeah, we're gonna see if we can replace that arm So it's a rather big thing that needs to be replaced all of that and I ordered a replacement and before we start taking it apart we better check that it's the right one I ordered this from a German company it's here and they forgot about me I think so um, yeah there is a little something here to help me dry off my tears thank you very much so let's see it says Maverick Maverick Air 2 on the lake here and there is yeah, we don't want to put in this thing on oh, that is oh we can we can see the windings there very nicely so there's a little bit there that is weird but it's nothing as coil up as as what I'm seeing here so I think I think we're good to go and I think we have the right arm and I have to remember to, to take this plastic thing off as well but we can do that further ahead I'll be sure to leave some links in the description if you need spare parts. Yeah, I'm gonna be using the, the iFixit kit, which I got uh, sent from a subscriber multiple years back, but I think it might just be perfect for taking this apart and keeping track of the mini screws that comes out of it because it has this cover here where you can put the screws in. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty neat. And it um, it looks like this so let's get started i think we need to just take the propellers off just to make it easier to work with there um i need to remember which one it is that is broke ah i can it's the one with the writing on it so it's one of the top ones remind me so far so good, we have those off, we don't need the battery, oh, we don't need to turn it on either, so we're going to take the battery off, which we need to because there are some screws down here that is about the first ones that we're going to be replacing, and this spider does not need to be in the video, so we need to figure out what size these are. So the iFixit kit has lots of different sizes and uh, these are square ones. Let's see if this one is it. That's exactly it. Perfect. So let's have these four out first. I am also going to be needing to solder to, uh, to replace this it's a rather big deal to replace one of those motors as the whole arm comes off and the wires are soldered on which is kind of 
unusual for it to be that difficult. So that was the four screws there. And let's see, it was this arm. So I'm gonna put the other one in. Uh, we need to we need to put those out because we need to get two screws underneath there. We need to take this cover off of the the gimbal camera here. And there are some screws down here that we need to take out. And these screws need to be taken out. So I think I'll start with those. Check if it's the same size. Yes. Let's take those out. They feel like they are the same uh, size of screws as the other ones. But I'm gonna leave them in their own room in the iFixit kit chop thinky. There is something in this one. Someone has put some rubbery material in there. I think they might have been, they have marked it so that if anyone tampers with it, there's like the smallest little goop thing in there. I don't think this is a bugger that I put in there. This comes out, does this, and this comes off. Good, so far so good. There is two covers that holds the arm on each side. We need to remove those as well. Same size there. And these covers comes up. And down here in the front, there's a couple of tiny screws. Uh, the smallest one in the uh, all the way in the front there. And they should be Torx number five. And we need to remove those. Which, uh, so that we can take the front off. This is a Torx T5. It's tiny. So, yep, it fits. And the screwdriver is ever so slightly magnetic. So that helps. So, it's trying to leave them in the in the right departments up here. So if everything fails, I can look the video, uh, look at the video backwards and make sure that I get all the screws in the right place. So now this front of the drone should be possible to take that out. There are some plastic clips in here that needs to be released. And the iFixit kit has some plastic pliers that you can use to, to not scratch it too much. It has these uh, guitar picks that I thought we should give a try. I can get it down there. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not want to go. Okay, this doesn't have to be that easy. <clears throat> We have all the plastic plot. This one. It keeps popping back on. It does not want to leave there. Okay, I'll try and get that off. I need some persuasion. Okay, I think I'm getting close. I found that if I put the, the guitar picks in about here and move them around, it's, it says a bigger click. So I think we are just about to have it. I think we might need to go to this side. There we are. <laughs> that was the biggest hassle so far. Irritating. <laughs> So with the front cover removed, we get access to a couple of, of screws here in front. Uh, so we're gonna remove those two. So that is removed and on the back of it, uh, down here, there's another two screws that needs to be removed. Not the one holding the PCB in place, but Another two that is deeply inside. I hope this is long enough. 
Ah, it's not. So these tocks that comes with the iFixit kit, they're not long enough to go down there and grab that. They, they barely touch it. So uh, yeah, we'll have to use something else. I have an, uh, an Allen wrench here that came with a um, fingerprinting lock thing uh, way back. And it just happens to be the right size. So I'm gonna be able to take these out anyway. There, it's one. It's a good thing that they didn't put the goop down in those holes. That would be difficult. So with that out of the way, it should be possible to take the the cover off the top cover here. Hmm. Uh, no, I think I've forgotten some screws down here. That needs to go as well. One there and one here. And we need to be careful not to break this, so I'm gonna get some plastic again. Get this off without ruining too much. Would be nice. Oh, that's it's coming slowly but surely Got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So far, so good. And it's in one piece and it isn't broken. So that's a plus. So now we can see what we're going to be working with here, except you're out of view. <laughs> yeah. Down here are all those connections that are, that are soldered on. So um, we're not going to be messing with the back ones I think we're gonna be replacing one of the front ones this one so uh, we need to take that off and it comes down here and it has like a bunch of connections that needs to go on but there is also on this leg there's also an, an antenna that comes out here that we need to um, to connect the right place otherwise this thing is not gonna fly and that goes up here, down there, to the other side and on there. Okay, so that needs to come off. I think it's about time that I heat up the soldering iron. So each of the motors come, we are dealing with the one on this side and it has uh, five wires that needs to be soldered off. And uh, they have very nicely marked them as uh, the, the first letter of the color on the PCB down there. But it's also just easy to look at the other side to just mirror what they have done on the other side. So uh, yeah, I think this is manageable. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without melting too much. Uh, let's see, this one, it's in a kind of a locking thing. Once out. Okay, so they go in here and are locked in place. Two's out. The thicker ones are probably the one uh, running the motor, and then there are some thinner ones. They might be for the. Oh, come on. There are some LEDs down there as well. Fuck hope that I've took the wrong. Yeah, I, 
that I did the right side and not the wrong side. <laughs> that would have been irritating to say the least. So that was those five wires. Then we need the antenna that goes around here to the other side. And it goes down there and comes out here. So we need to we need to pop that out very carefully. I'm just gonna take a tiny flathead screwdriver. There and we're gonna, gonna pry that up. This is like a Wi-Fi connection on a laptop. Yeah, it came out. Then it needs to go beneath this black one to get out of there. We might need to remove the black one just for a little bit. There. And then have this white one out. And then the black one back in. Okay, we'll wait with the black one. So we'll turn this around again. And pull the white one up. Negotiate it in the right Wait. It's not happy about that. Oh, there's not a lot of room to get that out there. If I put it up here. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, got it. So now they're out. And. Yeah, sorry. Um, I used the uh, pliers to, to pick this up. And now we need the pliers to get this cable here, the black cable, free. So now that is free. So I should be able to take the arm out. Uh, there is a screw here that needs to be detached. And that has a springy mechanism that should be very difficult to work with beneath here. So I am not sure how that's going to work out. but. Yeah, that should be one of the bigger issues with this drone. That that springy thing is... Uh, and it should be something like you could put it in the middle position. And then remove that one. Not sure how that works. Hmm. Oh crap. Okay. <sighs> there that thing is spring loaded something something. So um have no idea how we get that back in, but let's let's figure that out when we get to it. So now the arm should come out. There. And just needs to pull the cable through and make sure where it came out. So there. Good. Um, on top of the arm there is a black plastic thing. That's the thing that holds the propeller to the uh, to the arm. And we need to move that over as well and it has torques and the torque bit there and take those out I'm just gonna leave them here on the table because we're gonna oh a springy thing 
Okay, we need to there. That's the the old arm. And then the new arm, we, I could just keep the tape on here for a little bit. That wouldn't be too stupid to actually do that. I put the springy thing on. Oh, that way, okay. Tiny as heck. There. Okay. So the springy thing is on. And now we just need to put this back on. So the cable goes in that hole. All of the cables. And they need to go down there. Like that. And then I need that. Oh, then and the cable goes through there. So I need to be sure not to pinch that too much. So this needs to go in in a specific way. Okay, I got it under. It's impossible to film it. Um, you need to make sure to, to hit the hole on this side, which is difficult because it's spring-loaded and it, uh, it's working against you. But there's somewhere in the middle here where the, the load is smaller and you're able to, well, to centralize this at the same time as you're pushing it in and it should uh, now be spring-loaded in, in the right place. So I'm gonna find that screw, which is the last one that I took out. And we're gonna very fast put that back in. I don't wanna do that one more time. Uh, I know that these are available. You can buy new ones if, um, if you need to, but, oh, if you, It's not probably it's probably not as much the price as it's waiting for them to pop up. That is back in and it says spring loaded. Awesome. Now we have a little bit of a soldering job here. But I think I'll take this antenna thing and bring around the right way first. Let's see. This cable needs to go down there, and it was kind of in tucked in there, and that one went up there, down there, it needs to go through there, and it's already on to the other side, which is good. It seems to be a little bit longer than the other one. It went under the black one. Let's do that again. See if we can, can persuade it to go on there again. There. Sound about, about right. And then the black one. It would be so stupid to forget one of these and have to take it all apart again. That would not be fun. Okay, I'm gonna remove a little bit of the old solder with the, some of this solder removing stuff. See if we can, can put some new one on there. 
and this antenna is uh, popping up where I need to solder so get that out of the way a little bit Put on a little bit of new solder. Ow! They become hot. And then the blue and the yellow wire is twisted. So to untwist those to get, to get them pop out from the right place. You might not be able to see too much because I need to see for this. So, And I need to not burn the plastic or any of the other wires. Thank you very much. There. The yellow one is in. Next one is the black one. Ow! Black one is in. And it's the blue one. I think the blue one is going to be easier than the white one, so let's put the white one in first. White one is in. And the blue one is in. <sighs> to put the wires in these locking things so that they don't uh, not entirely sure what it's for but I guess it's so that they don't wipe vibrate off which might be an okay thing Just testing that they are not going to be pulling on the wire when the arm comes in. That would be bad. So, yeah, this looks um, brand new. I have to put everything on in the opposite order. Uh, let's see, there was two screws down there. I believe that was the last one. Didn't remove anything here. So I'll put this back on. Oh, uh, that was difficult to get. Oh, there's a, there's a piece of tape here that we need to remove. I should have removed that sooner. Oh, I'll manage. There. That is off. And the logo is the same. We need to put this back on. It was so difficult to get off. Almost don't want to put it back on. <laughs> oh, it's on. It's gonna be a nightmare to get off again if I need to. There. But there were these two long screws that I needed to take out in the back here where the special tool was needed. Oh, they're so small. <gasps> really don't want to lose them. 
So the, the motor has three wires going in and then there is a LED here to, to light up and blink and then there's an antenna, that's, that's the wiring. So that was those two. And we have these two in the front that we needed the front cover to come off to get to. I'm amazed that they use this many screws and there is so much uh, kind of extra weight like the springy things that makes the 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 arms uh, go in I wasn't expecting that and then we need then we can put the front cover back on right oh no there's a couple of screws that need to go in here these Not that the, the, the order uh, makes any difference, but yeah, now I can put this one back in. There, that's gonna be a hassle to take out. And then I have two small screws in there that needs to go in. I need to switch to the Tox thinky. And here are those tiny screws. Luckily, this is ever so slightly magnetic. This was definitely not the right torx, it's way too big. There, that's in. Then we have the covers for the arms. With two screws. So they go, uh, are they, are they similar? Oh, they probably only fit in one side now. Ah, that one fits there. And is it a hex screw or an octo? I think it might be a hex. We're getting there, we're getting there. So now let's see, we have we have the back cover here. Should we just Wipe the sensors off in our blouse here. There. This thing needs to go back. There. And that that adds up that there is six screws available. There. So now we have the four screws on the. Oh, we have this piece of gunk. Uh, I'm not sure if that needs to go in, but let's just put that somewhere. No idea if if I'm never gonna need that. Probably not. Just added extra weight. So. These four screws underneath the battery should be the last screws. And now the drone should be all back together. <sighs> Which is exciting. I'm gonna put the cover back for the camera here in front of it. I've never had it exposed this long. It it seems very fragile when you're messing with it and then we have the the propellers um, three three propellers must be plenty so some of the propellers has a silver lining on top of them there these two has the civil silver lining this one does not have the silver lining uh, there so that corresponds with the with on top of the the motors here there is silver and some of them has none so the ones that has silver goes with the ones that has silver so it goes that way and you lock those in place and it depends on which way the motor runs so that it doesn't spin out of well does weird stuff 
So there is the propeller zone. I'm gonna remove this the last piece of tape on the new arm. Remember it's the arm with the logo that we replaced. And we have the battery. Put that in, see if it explodes. Didn't do a thing. Okay. I think guess it's time to go test if this was successful or not. So I do have extra propellers here. Set of two propellers, originals, I think, manual. Yeah, they're very nicely packed. They are also not really giving them away. So this is one of the just black ones. We hmm. don't want to break the propellant, the cardboard. Is fine. So, new propeller. They look like the other ones, which might be important. So the new motor has a new propeller. Okay, so let's turn it on. Oh, yeah. LEDs are working. Lighting up red. I could probably show you that. Uh, oh, that's yeah, that is that one. Okay. And we do have a picture here. So I'm gonna press record and we're gonna ask it to take off. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Thank you. Take off. I think that's a success. It didn't do that before. It's a little bit unstable out there. I don't know what it's doing. Hmm. And I was able to land it on the same spot. Cool. So I broke the drone when I was doing a review of this electric bicycle. And I kind of promised the, the company that was promoting this that I would do some cool drone shots. And well, I try to be a man of my word. So I'm gonna do, try and do some cool drone shots, even if the video has been out for over a month. But yeah, I wanna test it out anyway. So yeah, we have the, we have the drone <laughs> right here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try this. So this is the same football field that I crashed it. I crashed it just over there in the bushes right there. Uh, I set it up right over here and when I, I set it to, to uh, fly around me and it crashed sideways into the bushes and it, it, it only, f yeah, thank you. It only crashed like one and a half meter or something, but it, but very unfortunately the propeller broke the motor. So let's see if we can get this off the ground.
So right now the drone is following me and it's, it's flying around me like that. So um, yeah, that was the cool shot that, I'm, uh, that I was after. But uh, better late than never. So very cool to get this fixed again so I could fulfill my promises to do some, well, drone shots. If they're cool, I don't know, I try. Um, did a really cool one off camera. I hope I'll be able to, to put it in the video where the drone goes uh, pretty fast around the bike. Um, I thought that would be useful for something. But yeah, I'm very happy with this drone repair. I think it was about 50 euros to get a new uh, arm with a motor, so it wasn't cheap, but this is an, is it an 800 euro-ish drone, so repairing it is worth it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.